Welcome back to my channel. Follow along with me as I work on a customized wreath for a client that wanted earth tones and lots of greenery. I'm using fabric squares that I got from Walmart. It comes in many colors. Today I'm using like a caramel color and then I'll also be using a chocolate brown. I'm just using them to make a little bit of embellishments. You'll see later on in the video what I'll be doing with these. I'm actually going to fold them into two halves and then I will fray the ends using a seam ripper. You want to be sure to flip it on the other side to continue fraying as the fraying will only penetrate through the top layer. Here I'm just cutting off the excess. I will then fold it into a cone shape, sew the ends together, and I will use those to place into the wreath. You want to be sure to sew just a little bit halfway up so that it holds together in place. I'm going to also continue the same technique using the chocolate brown color. I used the lines that came from the folding as my guide to cut the fabric.
fray the ends using the seam ripper on both open ends. I use this burlap to wrap around one side of the wreath and I also cut it into tiny square pieces and folded it into those cone ship to match the caramel color and the chocolate colored ones that I had done previously. Here's the fun part. I love playing, placing, and adding the flowers. Just checking out to see where they would look best at, gluing them into position, and then it all falls together from here. I used four different sets of flower types and colors. I added green ferns and pine cones. The pine cones were scented, they smell so good. I couldn't figure out where to place this letter H because there were a little bit of deviations within the wreath from some of the branches so it gave me the hardest time. In the end, it did not stick using just the hot glue gun alone, so I ended up using super glue and a little bit more of the hot glue gun, and it did stick. 
I hope you really liked this read. It was for a male bachelor. He wanted to have a little bit of glam, but still keep it neutral and masculine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you'll be trying this wreath.